It looks like the F1 2024 season is going to start the way the 2023 season finished and of course that is with Max Verstappen dominating and on top. Welcome back guys to Forward Racing and today we had the pre-season testing in Bahrain for the upcoming 2024 Formula 1 season. A lot of hype going into this season, a lot of rumours and speculations that we could have a close field and that there could be five teams going for the win come the opening race of the season. I've heard times as low as one tenth being the difference between the fastest team and the fifth fastest team. I wanted to believe that. I never believed it because it did sound like bullshit and uh, I think we can see based on today's timings that that indeed is not the case. Now I know we can't look into it too much. We don't know what setups teams were running but just looking at the times alone, it just looks like Red Bull are on a different planet. It's almost like they're in a different class of racing. It's like they're Formula 1 and everyone else at this point is pretty much Formula 2. And Max Verstappen takes number one spot today with a time of 1 minute 31.344, which was over 1.1 seconds faster than his next nearest challenger who was Lando Norris in the McLaren so very disappointing day if you want to see an exciting title fight this season if you're sick of Max winning it's not good for you we've got years and years of Mercedes domination and now looks like we could be getting years and years of Red Bull domination doesn't make F1 great, doesn't make F1 fun, and to be honest, it sucks going into every race every weekend, knowing that the same guy is likely going to win. At this point, I'm just hoping that Sergio Perez can have a good season, so at least we have someone that can challenge for stopping and at least make the races competitive. Perez, he begins his journey in pre-season tomorrow. I'm going to quickly run down though the order today. So it was Max in first, Norris second, Sainz third, Ricardo fourth, Gasly fifth, Lance Stroll sixth, Charles Leclerc in seventh, Alonso all the way down in eighth with Oscar Pistari in ninth, uh, Su Gang Wang Su in tenth, Sergeant eleventh, Russell twelfth, Sonoda thirteenth, Bottas fourteenth. Alexander Albon down in 15th, Ocon 16th, Magnussen 17th and Hulkenberg 18th. So the two Haas boys were over 4 seconds behind Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. That's awful. Alonso, who was in 8th place, he was over 2 seconds behind Max Verstappen. Just very, very poor, man. Very poor. Not excited about this. Not happy about this, but it is what it is. Like I said, it's only the first day. Hopefully, Red Bull were doing some mighty qualifying laps, and I'm hoping that the other teams were, I don't know, fueled up, going for longer runs, but based on these timings, it looks like it's going to be another Max Verstappen and Red Bull dominant season. I hope I'm wrong. We'll see what happens tomorrow. That's it, guys. Let us know your thoughts down below. Based on these times, do you think anybody can stop Red Bull? Do you think anybody can stop Verstappen? We'll have to wait and see to tomorrow. But yeah, to be over a second faster than your nearest challenger, uh, it's, it's not a good start to this season. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, peace.